Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Gold Version, and on top of Tin Tower, it is finally time that we captured our first legendary Pokemon. And the Pokemon on top of Tin Tower is none other than Ho-Oh, the trademark Pokemon of Gold Version. Now this thing is actually a bit challenging to catch, considering it is level 40. And we're still in the mid-30s, so this may be problematic. First thing we're going to do, though, is we wanted to put it asleep if we want to have any chance of taking down this guy. Now, ho -Oh is a fire-flying type. Now, this ice punch probably won't do too heavily much. Yeah, that didn't really do too great of damage. So you might actually try, uh, I don't know, maybe Shadow Ball? I honestly don't have a plan to capture this thing. I'm just going to try and keep it asleep, keep Golbez alive. And all right, that did pretty decent damage. Though it was a critical hit, so I'm not honestly too sure. But yeah, I kind of decided to give myself a fair bit amount of challenge, considering this game's kind of easy. You know, I was like, okay, I might as well try and catch Ho-Oh. Oh, no. I was going to say try and catch Ho-Oh at a low level, but oh, Nelly, he used Sacred Fire, his signature move, which, if you don't know, is pretty stinking powerful. So, yeah. We're probably just going to have to fodder off Horsey right here. Actually, let's try and use one Surf. Hopefully it... Nope. Sacred Fire! Totally dead. No way it's going to be able to survive. Unless... No, it's probably dead. <laughs> I tried to have a dramatic like, pause. Hopefully that would make... Oh, um, oh, oh, not kill my precious horsey, but no. Unfortunately, it bit the dust. Now, the only way we're going to be able to catch this thing is if, well, we revive uh, Golbez. No, that's not... That's my Pokemon. You go to my bag. I always get those mixed up. And use one of these revives, which hopefully, hopefully, let us, let us just capture this behemoth of a Pokemon. Now, the thing about Ho-Oh is, it just loves using Sacred Fire. That's pretty much going to destroy my entire team, unless I, unless I take some serious action pretty soon. Now, Chili being also a fire type is going to be able to resist that somewhat. And let's try and use maybe a headbutt to lower it a little bit. Oh, now here comes the gust. Uh, actually a critical hit. I was expecting that to do literally next to no damage, but unfortunately it connected and kind of kicked my butt, so yeah, that sucks. Now we're going in Golbez. He's our last hope. If this hypnosis can connect, I'm going to attempt to launch some... Huh, I don't know actually. Should I go for the ice punch and try and lower it a little bit, or should I just... Uh, I really don't know. I'm going for the ice punch though. Come on. Okay, don't kill, but I want to do decent damage. Okay, good. So now it's in the red, and now it's sleeping. The problem is, we do not currently have Ultra Balls at this point in the game. So this could be problematic. But I'm going to try and use Great Balls anyways. I got a fair amount of them. And it's in pretty good range to be caught, so let's commence the Great Ball Chucking. Dang. Well, that sucks. Oh, gosh. Good thing it's still asleep. Now it's going to be a little bit problematic, considering, uh... If this guy kills Golbez, that leaves only Stallone and the level 4 Pidgey. So let's hope we can capture this Pokemon. Come on. Nope, not even close. Gosh dang it. Ooh boy, here comes a gust. However, if I can survive this gust, we'll be sitting pretty. Wow. Okay. Now, I know this is asking a lot, but if this hypno... I love Golbez, dude. He always comes through for me. Even in the most dire situations, I love this guy. He is my, oh my gosh, he's been, he's so far the, my favorite member on our team. Okay, so that's going to give us just enough time to go into our suit. Um, I can use a hyper potion. It's probably the better bet right here. Yeah, come on. Yes, okay. Now we're going to get healed up all the way. That was kind of unnecessary considering <laughs> a super potion would have done that too. And all right, still fast asleep. Let's just continue throwing our great balls. Gosh, I can't believe I survived that. That's stinking crazy. I'm just happy these thinking, uh... Hypnosis is have hit continually for so long. Goodness. All right, so another great ball coming out. Let's just hope that it can get caught. Yes. We've caught our first legendary Pokemon, Ho-Oh. Yes. Oh, man. Ho-Oh, the rainbow Pokemon. The legend claims that this Pokemon flies the world skies. Continually on its magnificence... It's an awesome Pokemon. It is the trademark Pokemon of our gold, and it is finally ours. However, he really doesn't have a place on my team, and for the time being, that's all we had to do on Tin Tower. Now, if you think I'm going down the same way with that stupid behind 
stick. What the? No, okay. So I'm pretty sure you have to be on the bottom floor. Right, right, right. Or this floor, not the bottom floor. Yeah, if you think I'm going all the way back down, you were sorely mistaken. I bought an escape rope at the beginning of the game just so I wouldn't have to take that climb again. Goodness. And yeah, that's pretty much Tin Tower. That's all we had to do there. Now, admittedly, that event is a lot cooler in other versions, but you know, I had how was one of my favorite Pokemon. I really, I really like the whole Phoenix thing. It's really a cool, cool thing. And hey, it was one of the first Pokemon ever created, so that's kind of cool. And now that's done, I'd say it's time we uh, go heal our guys up and do some progression. How's that sound? And also, we gotta get Kazix out of the PC. So back to Mahogany Town's Pokemon Center to uh, well get everyone healed up and. Ready to go on the next adventure in the ice path. And all right, now that we got Kazix in hand and everyone's all healed up, I say it's time that we progress past Mahogany Town into this area, which has trainers that we got to battle before we can even get to the ice path. And this guy claims that he's gonna win. Well, we'll just see about that, because you know I, I've been I'm captured legendary Pokemon. What are you? You're just some psychic turd. And the psychic turd is actually gonna show us a new Pokemon called Natu. Which is actually a psychic flying type. Now you're probably thinking, John, that's a stinking pretty cool typing, right? Yes, but unfortunately, not to, and its evolution does not have the greatest move set, nor really. It's really weak to a lot of things. I mean, maybe if there's some really good special flying moves in this generation, he'd be a lot better, but, you know, I don't know. I've just never liked the guy, really. It's kind of weird, because I like most psychic types, and you know, I really love Kadabra. Alakazam is my favorite Pokemon of all time, but, you know, I don't know what it is about that guy. Not to, it's just, he's not someone I really connect with, I guess. And hey, Horsey's leveling up. Yeah, I hope he is, considering, I mean, apparently you're supposed to be level 40 by now, because they're chucking legendary Pokemon at us, or staying at that level, but whatever. Now, if we run into some grass here, I'm probably gonna... Actually, I'm probably gonna have to repel anyways. Oh, we already had one up, never mind. What?! Are you... That's stupid! <laughs> Who the crap was gonna look over- <sighs> Whatever, man. So we're gonna battle another person. Ooh, this is a cool trainer. And her name is Sir Bill. Sir Sabil? I'm saying that. She's gonna launch out a Butterfree. Aw, that's just adorable. I'm gonna ice punch it to utter death. Yes. And that's gonna be somehow super effective. Not even sure how. But yeah, it's a flying type. So, yeah, super- <laughs> <laughs> Poor Butterfree never had the chance. The thing about Butterfree is, you get it super early in the game, and it's super cool, and everyone loves Butterfree, and it's evolution, but man oh man, it just, it's just not good Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, it's cool, it can more learn like some psychic moves and all, but I don't know what it is. Now, Bloss Bellossom is actually a very cool Pokemon. If you have a Gloom, and you use a Sunstone on it, instead of turning into a Vile Bloom, it'll turn into a Bellossom. Which is pretty cool, if you ask me, now that there's branching evolutions for certain Pokemon. However, Blossom's not that great. It has really good special defense, but not much uh, excluding that. I don't know why the Pokemon even exists, to be perfectly honest. I guess they just really wanted a hula skirt Pokemon. Which, I mean, it's pretty cool, and actually, that sprite makes it, doesn't really do it justice, but... Yeah, Blossom, pretty neat Pokemon, if you ask me. Huh. Wasn't it like the Pokemon the third movie or something? And like everyone thought it was like so adorable. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Or maybe the second, who cares? Anywho, that lady is now not bop. I'm getting really tired of like this, where it's like it's literally an unavoidable battle because I can't see that far ahead. That is complete bullcrap. Oh look, it's a cool trainer with one Pokemon, and his name is Alan. I have a friend named Alan, who also really likes Charmander. Maybe they're related. Probably not, because Alan wouldn't do that. He wouldn't sit on the bare corner of the stinking screen and then come up and challenge me almost instantly. No, because that's a turdish thing to do, and Alan is cool. He'd also raise his Charmander a little bit better and wouldn't just use smokescreen instantly. Okay, okay, this Alan sucked. And now he is d he's out of Pokemon. Ha. Yeah. <laughs> it's a total ass of my part. Well, duh. Sticking moron. Okay. So let's just inch our way up a little bit. Okay, thank goodness that fiasco is over. My word, that was kind of annoying. Now let's look up here. Yep, this is definitely the ice cave. Now, I kind of forgot to mention it, but you could, like, surf over all those trainers, which is actually over there. But I didn't want to do that. There's also a bunch of really new Pokemon that are, uh, 
in that route over there. Which I'm pretty sure there's some tall grass. I'd like to highlight those Pokemon. And I think one of them's Tangle or something. And there might be a Jinx. I don't. I'm not exactly sure. And there's also a Remorade. I'm pretty sure in this version. So, yeah, that's you know, if you're looking for those Pokemon. That's where they are. Even though if I were you, I'd just stick a new Cerebi or Poke Beach to figure that out. But whatever. <laughs> Man, I. It's so crazy to think how old like the website Cerebi is. For people that don't know what I'm talking about, it's basically like a giant Pokemon like database, but it's also like for news and stuff and like the trading card game. It's a pretty cool place. I used that website in the 6th grade. That is a pretty long time ago. And it is still up and running today. That is just the true testament of Pokemon. And this bird catcher has met his unfortunate demise. Vance, we totally kicked his butt. Yeah, you're hot. Okay. Did you just say I'm hot? What the crap? <laughs> Anywho, this is the dreaded Ice Path. This place is not really my cup of tea. And in fact, I'm basically just going to be sp spamming super repels. And as much as I'd like to just speed up and not really show any of it or comment it on any of it, this place is actually a fair bit confusing. So, you know what? I'm going to give it my best shot and try and comment it the best of my ability. Now, let's see here. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we want to go down here. I mean, it's the only way we can go. Now, the tricky part about this is you want to get an item. Now, it's an HM, and if you don't get this, you can't even beat the game. So, you kind of want that item, you know? You know, okay. Now, the music for you is actually pretty cool. And also, you can find, um, not only Mammoth Swine, you can find, like, a bunch of Ice Pokemon in here. Mostly the ones you probably saw on, like, Price's Gym, so that's pretty neat. If you're looking for those select Pokemon, and oh, great, I forgot how to do the Ice Puzzle. Not again, not again. Oh, man. How do you do this thing? Now I'll figure it out, I'm sure. Let's try and do this, try and do that. That was not correct. That is unfortunate. Let's try and go this way. Nope, can't go that way. Well, dang it. This is not going to be fun now, is it? Hmm. Ooh, so close, man. So close. Now, let me think here. Oh, gosh. That actually takes a rappel away? Are you kidding me? <sighs> let me come here and figure out my bearings real fast. Promise, guys, I can do this, man. I, if you guys cheer me on, I can do just about anything. So hold your hands up high. Cheer on. Johnny Awesome, call my name out. Do it. Yeah. I think we're on the right way now. Uh, I guess I go up from here? Yeah, I guess whatever so let's go down here yeah okay so now I got it dude yeah this wasn't that hard see see that's what happens when you cheer me on guys now this is the part I was talking about you need to do this if you don't do this you can't beat the game or actually I'm pretty sure you can but you missed something that's like kind of cool so you want to do it you know you know <laughs> all right let's try this yep that's all you gotta do that's how you do it and this is HM07 which we'll be using well a little bit later so Let's keep that in mind. That's the move Waterfall, which is 100% inferior to the move Surf. So I recommend teaching your Pokemon Surf above Waterfall for various reasons. Just, just, you know. They're pretty obvious, actually. Now, this is the bane of every child's existence in the 90s. This one room is terrible. And technically, this game came out in 2000, so I guess the early 90s. This is a block puzzle involving strength. What is up with Nintendo and block puzzles? They're in Zelda, they're in Pokemon. And again, those are totally different, like, producers and all, but you get what I'm saying. They're everywhere, man. <laughs> and we never get we never get sick of them for some reason. Now, let's see, I'm pretty sure I want to move this, yeah. And then we're going to go over here and put it, yeah, okay. I got you, game, I got you. I can figure this out, or did I totally just screw myself? Might have just screwed myself, nope, I'm alright, okay. Just trying to, try to take this as easy as I can. Because the ice path is kind of hard. Just saying. And that is actually going to fall down below. Now, Instinct will probably tell you, Oh, I'm going to go down there and follow the walk monster. Well, just, care just careful, Billy. Because that's not really what we want to do right now. Can you put on another super repel? Hope I don't run out. That'll be pretty annoying. I have to use my normal repels. <laughs> Filthy normal repels. Oh, yes. Now, the thing about this puzzle is... Okay, so we're going to take this down until it touches this block. Right. Now, I think we can go over one more. Yeah, and then we're going to push it over here. Mm. Yeah, and then it's just a straight shot. Good, good, good. Awesome, awesome. All right, so in total, there's four rocks that we're going to have to push down. They have to go in very intricate positions, or this won't work. So, all right, so now now it's time to do the third one, which we actually have to get out of this little area. So, let's go. Dead, dead. I know this is so super exciting and everything, and I'm sure you just love to see Pokemon, but well, this is part of the game. 
There's nothing I can really do about that. Her but her. All right. So do we just? Well, I guess once the one's pretty straightforward too. We just gotta push it up so we can. Uh... Oh no, this is the problem. I think I messed up, guys. Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh man, I messed up so hard. So we're gonna have to come back and do that one, unfortunately, because I made a goof. I goofed a little bit. A little bit. Hmm. And I messed up here too. So that's actually kind of unfortunate. I'm actually just gonna go down here and reset this puzzle because I messed up. Which sucks, but you know, I don't have the muscle memory down. Because I just, you know, just wanted to play the game. It's not like I practice it like it's a stinking job or anything, you know? You know? Okay, so. This time I went the wrong way. So let's come through this way. And we're gonna have to push this rock up a little bit. Yeah, we're supposed to do this one third, so whatever. And right up here. Do I have to reactivate it? Yep, we do. Okay, so I think I just gotta push this up. The hole is like right above this, so. If I push it up all the way I can, then go around. yip no, that's all we had to do. It's pretty easy, actually. Alright, push that. And alright, one more block to go. My repel keeps running out. I kinda wish I had max repels at this point in the game, but whatever, you can't, because the final shop is actually where you get most of the really good items. And there we still go, man! That's one of the last blocks remaining. Yay! Yeah! Alright. <laughs> Now it's on to the final time, which no, don't go down there. We gotta actually loop around and push the final block in. Isn't this so exciting? Block puzzles. I'm trying to commentate the best I can, guys. Like sometimes you're commentating something so boring that it gets kind of hard. So yeah, we're actually gonna have to push this up one more block. Then we're gonna have to loop around, and then it's stinking done. So we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. <laughs> it's almost over. Gosh. I'm pretty sure the whole re yeah, no, this is mandatory. This isn't something that you can just avoid. It should be really convenient, because if we could avoid it, I would. And alright, this is the final block that we have to do. Now we can actually progress to the final part of the Ice Cavern. And what Petit can do? Now, the whole point of this was to get a tear load of items. But I don't care about any of these items, so whatever. Alright. Now, this... Oh, gosh. Now I don't know how to do this part. Great. Now, the whole point of this is to... Oh, yeah. This is just how you do it. No, I totally messed up. Gosh dang it. I think what you're supposed to do is... You're supposed to, like, go down the first chute. Yeah, I think you are. Ah, My super pellets keep going out. That is nuts. That is anti-fun. So we're just gonna put one more on. Alright. Let's see. Now, if I go down the first hole... That would actually... Yeah. So let's actually go back upstairs and try that. I actually went down the fourth hole, which is obviously the one you're not supposed to go down, so. It's two times in a row, I'm making a little flukes, but you know. That's what happens, you know. Nothing ever is good. If you know what I mean. You don't know what I mean. No one knows what I mean. And we should go up from here. And there you go. That's all you gotta do. And up here is a full heal. That means it is full heal. The heal is full. Is what I'm trying to say. Now we're at the bottom floor. And you can break that rock and get a never melt ice. But I don't use any ice Pokemon. So I don't stink and eat it. Okay? Okay. So let's go down here. Ooh. I remember this room all too well. Oh, man. No, oh, never mind. This is easy. <laughs> never mind. I was thinking, I think I was thinking of like Pokemon Emerald or something. Now, how do you get that item? Do I really care? No, I don't. Okay, so let's move on. <laughs> Jeez Louise, man. And this part's actually kind of simple. I think you just gotta do this. Yep, all you gotta do. Or is it? Or is it? Actually, it is. So yeah. Or is it? Crap! I don't even know where I'm going anymore. Let's get actually get this item because I kind of want it. It's a PP up, but uh, I don't actually have a use for PP up, so I'm okay with just ditching that for the time being. And let's get stinking out of here, man! Oh my gosh, the ice path is like so anti-fun, man. And all right, I got through the ice path, and we're gonna talk to this lady. Wow, you came through the ice path. You must be a giant nerd. Wow, that's pretty mean for her to say. And we guys, we are finally here. We are at Blackthorn City, which has the final gym leader, the eighth one. And yeah, it's a pretty cool place. And we're gonna be exploring that in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Gold Version. We caught ho -Oh, and we got through the ice path. What is, what cannot stand in our way? Nothing. We're an unstoppable wrecking machine, but that being said, I'm probably gonna do some off-screen training, because the next gym coming up is a tiny bit, tiny bit difficult. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you in the next part when we take on the 8th Gym Leader of Blackthorn City. 
So I'll see you guys then.